It is recording. W and T. All right. Well, here we go. There's our current longi- latitude and longitude at Nick Penny's desk, and we'll walk along and see those numbers eventually change. Might be a trouble. Yeah, we might want to pause at certain intervals so it can focus. Okay. You mean, is it changed? I don't know. I don't want you. <laughs> There's a change. Oh, nice. It is polling every frame, but the uh, back underlying code is probably not updating uh, very often. But uh, my code is polling what the current location is. Of the frame. Those longitude and latitudes change ever so slightly. Did they? <laughs> they didn't, well, certainly from where we started. It. Okay. <laughs> Such accuracy. And here we are. Thank you. All right. Now let's take a look at the code for the location services. So this is a script file that runs on my main menu. When it's started, you can see I'm turning on the location services. Um, this actually turns that service on on the uh, device if it's available. If it's not available, if the user's disabled location services, then it does nothing. But uh, we have to call both start and eventually stop on these location services. Um, and any queries to location values have to happen after start. Uh, my update calls my update location function. My update location function first checks if location services are available. Um, if, they've, if the user has disabled this on their device, then this will be false. Or if they're simply not available or existing on that device, like when I run on my PC, then again, this will be false and nothing will be done. If it's true, though, then we can access the location values. Um, inside the location, there is a last data member, which is basically just what values uh, were, were last detected the last time the location services were queried internally. Um, so we can just continually uh, query this value to see what the location is. Um, internally, it has both a latitude and longitude value, which I've made a copy of. Um, theoretically, we could use these to find a, a city name or state or country or something more intuitive to represent position. Um, in my uh, limited ability to move around, latitude and longitude provided uh, enough uh, change just walking across the office, so I left it at that. Um, once the latitude and longitude is found, I'm going to find a particular button, the single player button um, on my main game. And then internally it has a text component, which we can see I'm changing to represent what the current latitude and longitude is. Um, but again, this is only if is enabled by user is currently true. Um, if this was not true, if they turned it off, if it wasn't existent, we would never change the text on this button. And I believe it, uh, it defaults to something uh, more applicable in that case. So just departing for space, I believe. Um, also, if any of the other buttons are pressed, like the single player or multiplayer game are pressed, then I turn off the location services as they do consume a fair amount of battery power on the device and I won't be querying them again at this time uh, until the user comes back to the main menu where we already saw it gets turned back on at start. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.